Okay guys, welcome to my new video. In this one, I'm going to unbox the intelligent 3D pen. And in the following video, I'm gonna show you guys how to 3D print with this pen a spider web that you can use for the Halloween. It's gonna be awesome. So let's start opening this one. So when we open it, we see the pen first. So we take out the pen um, and take out the nylon cover. So it looks good. I mean, I like the feeling of it when you touch it. So it, here the brand is Tech Boss. At the back, the power port. And here is the extrusion nozzle where the filament will be coming out. And it's gonna be hot, don't touch this section because it is gonna burn you. And we have a couple buttons in here. One, two, three, four. And we will see what these buttons are gonna work for. In here, I believe this is a temperature display. And also the second hole over here is the filament feeding section. So after we remove this, we see more stuff. So this is the holder unit with the suction cup on it. So when you put this one like this, as you can see, it doesn't come out easily. And this is how you put it on. And we have the finger covers. I like it. There was one more finger cover in here, which is this one in different sizes. So there are two finger covers so that you don't burn your hand. And we have the adapter where we are gonna draw the power. So this is the adapter and we have the cable. So what we are going to do is open it up, plug this one in and plug this one to the power and then plug it to our 3D pen. So we plug that one in. It seems like this section is detaching fast so it might not be that much useful with the, sec with the suction thing. Okay, what else we have? We have ABS filament, we have PLA filament, another PLA filament, another PLA filament and another PLA filament. So, so as you can see the suction again fall off so I'm not going to use this holder or fi figure out a way, a better way to hold this one simply because it's keep falling and this is our pen again so when we open it more we see this piece and this piece graphics for us to print on them and then we create our own shapes 3D printed with these and I will show you a couple of examples. Let's look at the manual and the pen together. So this button at the top is going to be the filament type change and the temperature while the other one is the same thing but it's basically up and down and in here uh, this button over here speed down this button is speed up and when we look over here it is basically this button is filament unloading, this button is filament feed and pause button. Okay, when we first open it, we see these options PLA or ABS. So basically PLA is going to be lower temperature than the ABS. And also one more thing, I don't suggest you guys to use ABS with this pan or any ABS in an unventilated area that you are close to breathing because ABS is basically a little bit harmful to your lungs so always use PLA that's a suggestion and that is up to you of course but check it out google it you will see after this after we select the site we press this button which is the filament feed button and it starts to heat up as you can see we are seeing the temperature rising so red light means it's heating up when this light turns into the green it, which means that the device is fully heated and it is ready to fill the filament in. So we will be waiting at this moment. Also one more thing, this tip over here is not replaceable. So try not to damage it. And if something happens, don't forget to contact the company. Also in the user manual it says that to ensure the safety, this pen will automatically shut off in every 8 minutes. So just to let you know, it's not a malfunction, it automatically shuts off. Also, the operation manual says that let this product rest for 5 minutes after an hour operation for optimal performance. Just to let you know. The other tip is, if this pen gets clogged, uh, what you need to do is switch it to higher temperature mode for ABS. Uh, basically, 
if it gets clogged with PLA, you need a higher temperature to remove it so that you can extrude it or pull it out. But if it gets clogged with ABS while you are using an ABS, it will be a hard job to remove that out. Just to let you know. So right now when I click it, we can hear the motor, which is just like waiting for us to feed the filament in from here. So now what I'm going to do is feed the filament. So you can hear the motor right now much more better, I guess. Now we are taking off a filament package, which is a PLA. The other tip that I'm gonna give you guys is, so when you have the filament edge like that, just cut it like this, 45 degree angle. So it's gonna be easier to feed it in and then put it in. Okay, it's feeding it in. So we will wait until it comes out from the nozzle. Okay, now we can see the edge of the filament coming out from there. And yeah, it is coming out. So to stop it, we press this button again. So this is button number seven. It basically feeds the fil start feeding the filament in and also stopping it at the same time. This button over here, just to make you guys remember, is unloading button. When I click this, it will unload the filament, but I'm not going to do it right now because it's gonna take time. As I said, these are speed up and down button. And fun fact, if you are moving, if you are extruding the filament when you press this button, you cannot change the, you cannot change the speed while it's extruding when you click these. You can see that speed setting is at one. So this is the slow speed right now. You press this, you pause it, and then you click this to increase the speed and there are eight speed settings. So right now I'm going to go with Z Z P02, which was my speed setting. Click this one again and it starts to extrude. And also I realized that we cannot change the PLA to ABS while it is at this point. I guess maybe we need to um, cycle it. So let's remove this and put it back in. Okay, so it's basically allows you to change the PLA or ABS at the very first time when you plug that one in. Otherwise, while it's plugged, it will not allow you to change it. So when it's, when this is selected, let's click the ABS and then you just hit this button and then it heats up, but it will not allow you to change it. With the ABS mode, it's heating up to 180. With the PLA mode, it's heating up to 160. So then we click this, it feeds in, we stop it because I'm using PLA, but it's not gonna allow me to change it. So what I'm going to do is cycle it and change PLA, click enter. It's gonna feed the filament in at 165 Celsius degree. Okay, here how unloading works and start extruding, right? And I pause it, when I pause it, it pauses it, but when you click unloading, it doesn't unload immediately. So you need to hold this unloading button and it starts unloading right now, as you can see. It is unloading the filament. Now I'm going to create my own eyeglasses that came with the box. So this is the doodling platform doodling thing in here and this is the shield. So I'm gonna put the shield on top of it and I'm gonna print my eyeglasses by looking at this background. So I will start from here. No, this is not easy. This is a little bit hard. But it starts to smell plastic, just to let you know. Pick a ventilated area, not like my room. This section is done, not bad, it's pretty good actually. So now I'm gonna continue more on this side. But this time, rather than doing the perimeters, I'm just gonna start with the, you know, the infilling like this. Now after I do the infill, I'm going to do some perimeters. So I did both of the sides of my eyeglasses, now I'm going to 
chip this extra and move to the lenses. Okay, right now I finished filling it up, so let's give some other colors on it and make it look much better. But before that, what we need to do is to unload this filament. I holding, I'm holding on this unloading button, and it starts to unload for me. And here is my other color that I'm going to use in here. So what I'm going to do get my filament ready for loading. Just cut it like 45, like this. Just cut it like 45. And unloading still going on. And it's unloaded. So, click this button to stop the unloading. When your filament is unloaded, just cut off from back, a little bit back, because there are sections that are like bulged up because of the heat if you plug it if you plug it back in like that it's gonna clog your nozzle so you just cut out the section with the sharp edge now we have the new filament new color again PLA we click this button loading button it loads you can feel the vibration and then you put that one in from the back and it enters and you can feel it's going in now we need to wait until the new material comes out okay now the old material is being extruded and new color is keep coming as you can see now it's gray okay let's start so what I'm going to do is add some features make it look good with the gray My handwriting was never good, so I don't expect my 3D printing handwriting is to be good. So I paused it, and now I'm going to cut out the exteriors. Now let's take this one off. Okay, Ostoi, my channel name. Looks good. One section is done. Okay, my styling is done. Now connect these shapes together. Just make sure that things are cooled down before you remove them from this background. The now I'm almost ready what I'm going to do is just melt these together right so what we are going to do turn it upside down open this baby up and get the surgery going you just pour it on top and heats and merges and after you stabilize it, just wait so that it cools down. Now I'm going to make this section stronger too, but I'm gonna wait more cooling down at this point. Also, it is robust too. After it's cooled down, it's robust too, see? But if you do it too much, it will just detach. <coughs> now I'm doing the next section, the other one. Now we just wait, have to wait until it cools down before we move to the next step. Next what to do is to make these sections stronger by pouring some filaments in there. It is looking good. Now I'm going to leave this one here. And get some of my stuff. Now I'm going to leave this one here. The eyeglasses. My channel name. Now I'm going to 
prepare this a tree so for that we are gonna first put this one on to create these small pieces and then I'm gonna create the tree and all those kind of stuff but I will first start with creating these pieces As you can see with the 3D pen we created this awesome lovely looking tree by relaxing out just building it and I also 3D printed this eyeglasses with my hand and put my channel name over here so it looks really good with this 3D pen over here Thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If so, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I think we did really pretty good job with this 3D pen. And there are many 3D pens out there. I'm putting some links in the down below. Maybe for this Black Friday, you can get uh, different pens and maybe good discounts on them as well. So here are the two things, the eyeglasses and the tree that I built with them. And when I have time in my next video, I will prepare the spider web video with 3D pen. So see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe.